makes me so today I'm gonna show you my bony bunch collection I have a lot they're from Yankee Candle um so I've been collecting them since they started and it's been a fun pastime for me every time they have the fall Halloween like candle release so I'm gonna show you the ones I have and I did have about five that broke I know <laughs> um, I had my carpet replaced and movers came, moved a box, they were in it, and... Okay, so here's my Bony Bench collection. This is the first one. This is the Dig In candy dish. We've got a cobweb there. And on this side, we've actually got this spider. And I do have some candy in there. This was $24.99, and it's the covered coffin from 2014. You can also fit a small jar size candle in there and you know you could line it up with uh, votives. Here's one that most people aren't gonna know is Bony Bunch but it is. This is the Steampunk Collection. This came out in, it uh, doesn't say on here, but the um, crow guy that I have. It's over here. He's from the same collection. Um, so this whole collection was just steampunk, and there's so much detail. Look how pretty that is. It can burn a votive and a tea light. Other things from this collection were a steampunk crow with a little jack-o'-lantern, a bony bunch uh, steampunk guy, and this says... Um, VH hat P4, it was $9.99, and the V hat, I think, is for vintage hat. Here's the crow that goes with him. This guy is the pilot riding a big, huge steampunk crow. You can barely see the lights on this side, but you can see them more on this side, and that's because I need to actually replace the batteries, but yeah. This can burn uh, tea lights or votives. My crow is actually crying, and it's because they didn't, you know, paint a good job on him. Um, but I actually liked him that he was doing that. This guy's cross-eyed, while flying, and um, with Bony Bunch, the new Bony Bunch are coming out this Saturday, and Bony Bunch sells out within like a few minutes of when they're released. So if you want a Bony Bunch, you know, go and get it on the Halloween premiere day. Um, so I will show a video of the new ones that I buy on Saturday. It won't be a lot. So I usually only buy like one or two from that year. So then this is another one. This can be a candy dish or a candle burner. Right now I'm trying to get rid of this 4th of July candle. <laughs> But, um, yeah, here's the inside. It goes all the way down. He was from 2015. And uh, J-O-L, which is for jack-o'-lantern candle, jack-o'-lantern jack candy dish. He was uh, $29.99, and he was from 2014. This bony bunch is from last year. This is the Death by Chocolate. Or no, not last year. 2017. And this was $19.99. That's how much she cost. But this whole set was about um, a murder mystery, like, like playing Clue, who did it. Here's the beautiful table, some cupcakes, another cake, and a dead skull. So this one's supposed to be the maid, and then she did it with, you know, this huge knife she has, <laughs> or she uh, poisoned the chocolate cake, which is why it's death by chocolate. But yeah, pretty cool. And I love how they gave her, like, a orange little um, button up here instead of just all white. That's a nice little touch. So yeah, Bony Bunch tries to do different themes. The theme this year, I'm pretty sure, is circus. That's what it looked like anyway on my invitation. So here we have a Bony Bunch candle topper. It's a big, huge top hat 
on my large candle. You can put this on smaller candles in jars, but I think it gets too warm. So I always just use the large. It's huge top hat. And this one says 1999 Boney Hat P4. And I want to say this is one of the older ones because this was before they started to put the year. But um, last year for 2018, they stopped putting the year. So I'm hoping they bring that back again. This is some people's holy grail. And I have it. And the reason it's a holy grail is because they didn't make very many, only a thousand. This is the Boney Bunch Haunted House. And I don't know if you can tell because, you know, it's still sunny outside, but all these windows shines the candle through, as well as even on the attic. And there's Mr. Bones holding a jack-o'-lantern. And even the doorknob is uses a skeleton key. It's pretty cool, right? And then we turn it around. More windows for that beautiful candle and the more your candle burns this one's a full one right now but the more it burns the more light actually goes through so I use the small jars for this you can use a large one but then you can't have the top on and I like this because I put this in my village see the big huge spot there that's where he usually is but it looks so good with my miniature Halloween stuff. But here's the inside with the smaller jar Yankee Candle. And here's more if you wanted to see more of the roof. It's even uh, different designs. It's very heavy. This thing is so much money now, it's ridiculous. So here's the bottom. And this is what size jar I had, the small one. It says Yankee Candle, um, J.H. Boney Mansion. This is just a little guy. He is the candle um, hanger. He's the little bat guy. And he's hanging off of my fall uh, Yankee Candle tea light burner. Um, but yeah, he's a little bat. Man, so cute. He wasn't a lot. I think he was like $5.99. He's pretty old. I don't have anything about him. This is the dead on my feet. This is a bride and groom. They're dancing in a graveyard. It only burns tea light candles. But there is a lot of detail. Like, I think that her bow was supposed to be a bat or a flower, but it kind of turned out to a blob, but it still looks nice. Yeah, she has a bow on her dress in the back. And they're dancing. They look so happy. Here's the back side. And they were from 2016. And they are called Dead on My Feet, but I don't have how much they cost. Then I have this. This is Boney Bunch Baby. It's a baby setting on a jack-o'-lantern. This one is the only one I have from last year. As a lot of you know, my mother had leukemia, so I ended up in Houston taking care of her. So the person that I was with went to Yankee Candle and bought it for me, which is really nice. He's holding a bat. And they didn't put the date on the ones from last year. And he was $19.99. So, here's an overview, overview of all of those. And I have a couple more to show you. These are a couple other Holy Grail Boney Bunch items. This is Boney Bunch Grim Reaper ornament. These were supposed to just be for the workers at Yankee Candle. They only got three of each in our store. 
They were $5.99. And I asked the workers if I could buy some because I actually really did like them. And um, they let me buy three of them. This that consists of four though. The one that I don't have is the Santa Claus all dressed in black. Here's the other one, it's the Groom and Bride. Isn't she pretty? She's wearing like a mermaid dress. I can't find the other one I have. He's a guy holding his head, kind of like the um, Headless Horseman. He's somewhere on this tree, but I don't know where he is at the moment. Then I have this one. <laughs> this is Piano Man Joel. Look at all, my, all the detail in this. So we've got this cool spider this creature coming out of his piano. We have bones decorating the piano and his seat. His head's turned. It says tip or treat. And then I have these pumpkin witch candles. Um, yeah, and this too, you can put a tiny a long taper candle in. The taper candles at Yankee Candle are white and when you burn them, it looks like they're bleeding. They drip red wax. Here's the other side. And then I'll show you the back and the bottom. Bony Joel, Piano Man. And then it even has detail on the back here. We've got um, skeleton faces for the piano note. Skeleton. This was from 2015. And it, I think was $29.99. Then we have this haunted mansion. It is huge. This is part of the Bony Bunch collection as well. It's pretty because this stuff is made with um, that bicycle orange material. They're flectors. They put on bikes so you see them. That's what this stuff is. Here's the back side. So we've got five tea light holders. And it was $49.99 but I was able to get it half off while um, my mom did for me as a Christmas present. So that was my bony bunch. I also have Bones the dog, two of him, but they're in another box. I haven't gotten them out. If I find them after I um, upload the new 2019 uh, bony bunch, I'll put them in that. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Happy Halloween.